if they say if we'll only avoid avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn. And hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome to another Two Finger Skyrim video. Yes, and today we're here to talk about ghost files and ghost space. A huge problem for many of you, including myself. Now, if you don't know what ghost space is and ghost files, let me give you a very quick overview. Um, if you look at the top right of my screen, you will see that in free space I have 1.12 gigabytes. I've used a total of 3.88 gigabytes for my mods, and I have a 1.12 free space in gigabytes. Now, ghost space. What this means is, if I were, for example, to download a huge mod, say it was about 800 megabytes. Now I should have enough space. I have 1.12 gig. 800 should be covered. However, because of ghost files and ghost space, which are uh, files left over from mods that I have already deleted, right? I would not be able to download that mod. It would say you don't have enough memory, and that's complete BS because I should have enough memory. But it's ghost files, ghost space on my system that are from previously deleted mods, right? And so I, I, it's, nothing, it's almost nothing I can do. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Now I know this is a huge problem for many of you. A lot of people have commented in my videos, you know, asking about it or, or sharing what's happened to them. Usually what people do is the, the ghost space becomes so huge that they have to reinstall Skyrim, right? Which is a, a slight pain in the butt, but the biggest problem is you lose all your mods. So for example, I have Jack God's Pub, one of the best mods ever. All right, I don't want to lose this mod, all right? Now this mod was taken down by Bethesda, so if I were to reinstall Skyrim, I would lose all those mods, including Jack God's Pub, and there'd be no way for me to get it back. It'd be done, It'd be gone. So it's a huge pain, and it's something people don't want to do. Now, mainly what we're going to talk about today is um, how to prevent ghost space, right? How to prevent it. Now, towards the end, I will talk about a way you can possibly remove some of the ghost space, but we're really going to focus on how to prevent ghost space. Now, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step process of what you need to do when you delete your mod. Now, let me just say though, I'm not an expert, I'm not a computer expert, I'm not a, a modding expert, I'm not, I don't, I'm not an expert, right? Not at all. We know me. If you know, if you watch my videos, I'm an idiot, and so it's great, it's fine. I like being an idiot. An idiot. Um, I'm a mumbling, jumbling, bubbling idiot. All right, but I've done a lot of research, so uh, I've I've put together a list of of, of steps we, that you can take to prevent um, having ghost files. Now, if you know something, please comment down below. If you know something that I say is wrong or something additional you you can add, please comment down below. We can really learn from each other, and that's probably the best way. Um, so the steps that I'm going to go through now. Not all of them may be necessary, because I've, I've taken these steps from a number of different sources and they kind of overlap. Some of, them, uh, some of the steps are part of one source, uh, those same steps are not part of another source. So I will, as I talk you through each step, I will let you know whether it may or may not be necessary. Alright, um, number one, this is step number one and I'll write it on the screen so you can have, uh, it's easier for you people. N number one. What you want to do is, whatever mod you're going to delete, right, you want to put it at the bottom of the load order. So I'm going to the bottom right now of my load order, right, <clears throat> and here's Apple Crumble. Um, it's another nude mod, and, and it's a big one, and uh, I have a lot of nude mods, so I'm, I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to put this at the bottom of my load order. Now this step may not be necessary. I did not see it in every single place. Uh, where I found information about ghost space. All right, but put it at the bottom of your load order. Number two, you disable the mod. This is necessary. Disable the mod. Number three, you want to exit the mod screen. Again, this is necessary, 100% necessary. You're going to exit the mod screen, you're going to let the mods load up, and you're going back to the title screen. You're going back to the title screen, which I'll just do right now. This mod, mod selection load order which has changed, yada yada. So I'm letting the mods load up again. All right, so this this is a necessary step. All right, while we wait for this to happen, 
we'll talk about the hard reset. So after this is done, you're going to do a hard reset. Now for those of you who don't know what a hard reset is, I will walk you through it. Um, on your Xbox, and if, if you're watching this with PS4, this process works for PS4 also. However, you have to find out what the hard reset is on a PS4. I think it's the same, but I could be wrong. Um, what, you, what you do for hard reset is, you go to your Xbox, and you push down, this is a black screen, this is taking forever, this is terrible for a video, it's horrible. Can you just, can, can people don't want to look at it, there you go, thank you, my god. Um, oh yeah, yeah, people. Uh, so you want to go to your Xbox, you want to hold down on your power button for about 10 seconds. All, the whole Xbox will shut down. When that happens, your next step is, and this one may not be necessary, right? The hard reset is definitely, definitely necessary. This next one is, may not be necessary. You unplug your Xbox. Okay, you're going to unplug your Xbox. I'm just going to go back into the, to the uh, bot screen. You want to unplug your Xbox. And then wait about two minutes. Wait about two minutes. Now, the waiting is, is something you have to do no matter what. Um, what, now, their next step is, uh, this is step number seven. Again, this one may or may not be necessary. Step seven is press the power button on the Xbox while it's unplugged about five times. Right, it's basically the idea is you're clearing any kind of energy residue that's left in the Xbox, it's kind of clearing it all, clearing it off. Um, so you're pressing the power button five times while the Xbox is unplugged. After you've done this, you waited two minutes, you want to plug your Xbox in, power up the X Xbox. Um, then you go back into your uh, mod selection, go back into your mod list. All right, and now this is where you can, step number nine, delete the mod. Okay, delete the mod. Where am I? There you go. So now we can just delete this mod. Boom. Delete it. Gone. Gone. Delete it. Um, again, the, what you want to do is you want to back out. Now, from here on out, all these steps that I'm going through may not be necessary. But basically, you're doing the whole process all over again. So you're going to, you're going to back out. Step number 11 was going to be a hard reset. Follow the steps before about the um, unplugging and pressing power button. And then after you've done that and you start your Xbox, Xbox again and Skyrim again, you are done. Now this process, as I said, is used to prevent ghost files and ghost space. Now, now comes the question, can you reduce the ghost space? And I'm going to say the answer is maybe. Maybe. Um, what The one thing you can do, and you can try to do, is any mod that you have deleted before, right? For example, um, here's my library, and ooh, can't find anything at the moment. Hopefully we find something here. I don't know. Or maybe actually, let me go to my favorite one better. Um, let me see. Oh, all right. So a good one for me. Yes, here we go. This one I delete. I deleted this mod before. It's lots of ethereal el elven followers. So if I want to possibly. Um, now, I won't know, I don't know if this is adding to my ghost space, but what I can do is reinstall the mod and then go through the same process as I just did, right? So if you, if you, know, um, if you know mods you deleted before, what you can try to do to see if it works, and it could be, you know, a pain in the butt and take a lot of time, um, is you want to reinstall these mods and then go through the same process, right? And then it's quite possible you will remove the ghost space. Now people have said online they definitely it's definitely worked. I'm not positive it works. I think it does. I'm not positive. The problem for me and the problem for you, uh, for especially for my viewers, my uh, my consistent and loyal viewers, is that if you have 
um, if you have if you have mods uh, that like you know these that are taken down from oh, this, oh I didn't know Scarlet Dawn armor was taken down ah oh, yeah yeah I was gonna do a video about that it's terrible people it's terrible um, if you have mods that were taken down by Bethesda and that are causing the ghost space which I know I have there's nothing I can do right I'm just I'm just screwed I'm, I'm, I'm screwed all right I there are mods I deleted before that are no longer in the system so I cannot reinstall them to clear that ghost space so that ghost space is always going to be there and it's not a damn thing I can do however from what I can figure right now personally I have about uh, I think it's at least 800 megabytes of ghost space and hopefully by me following this process um, I'm gonna not that number is not going to rise right if I remain disciplined and always do that for my mods especially the big mods uh, that number won't rise and I think 800 is pretty okay to deal and live with um, it's really hard for me as you can imagine right I, I do mod showcases I deal with a lot of mods that end up being taken down so it's really tough for me and honestly I'm kind of surprised after researching it a lot I'm kind of surprised I don't have more right you would think that I would have that I'd be like screwed in terms of ghost space um, with all the mod showcases and all the mods I delete like I, just, I download and delete mods all the time I'm, try, I'm trying on new mods um, whether it's the nude mods or just random mods that I think might be cool to show I'm downloading and deleting them and I wasn't really doing this process maybe by accident I was but um, for the most part I wasn't so um, yeah, as I said, if you know other other ways, if you have other uh, tips or advice, please comment down below. If you think I've made a mistake somewhere, I definitely comment down below. I will address it. Um, if I've made a huge mistake or something huge, um, another you know big help that people can do, I will post another video because this is a really big pain to deal with, and nobody wants to a lose their mods or b have to go through the whole process of deleting Skyrim, reinstalling Skyrim, and uh, reinstalling all of your mods. Um, one smaller tip that, that one of my viewers gave me, and I have not tried this, is that if you go onto the website, if there are uh, mods that you've had before, um, and on the website you're still subscribed to that mod, remove that subscription and that could help with your, uh, your ghost space. All right, let me know how this works for you. Let me know if you have success, especially if you have success with with removing ghost space, right? Um, I'm pretty sure that preventing ghost space definitely works. I've seen it in lots of places, um, and it all kind of stay around the same thing, the, the same things to do. So I'm pretty sure that works. Um, however, I'm more curious about removing any kind of ghost space. If you can get some back, let me know. Let me know what works for you. Let me know if what I said works for you. That'd be very awesome, very great. All right, that's, uh, that's it. This lady right here, uh, she has one eye. It's really weird, it's bothering me. It says improve closed face helmets and then she looks like an idiot with like one eye closed. Like what is she doing? That's really weird. All right, um, I hope this video helps you out people. Uh, comment down below and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Um, and I will see you next time. Uh, bye bye. And they say if they say if we'll only avoid avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love it. I will not die on the video. I will run like a pansy. <laughs>